For the last three years, I've been in a wheelchair at home. And as you, as you can imagine, being in a wheelchair at home, when doors aren't wide enough, or the counters are too low, or you can't get in and out of a bathtub, I've taken some, I've taken more injuries, you know, just being at home in a house that wasn't modified for my wheelchair or modified for being an amputee, um, than in some cases in any other injuries that I've you know, taken in athletics. You know, one of the biggest things people often think that this, that a house is just a house, but especially for somebody like me, it's, it's the framework for the rest of your life. It's the framework for your future. It's the ability or the opportunity for me to have a normal career, for me to have the independence and, and even more so just to have the future that, you know, I thought I was going to have when I was a little kid. I mean, it's just, it's one thing, like you said, it's one thing to have a house built for you, but to know that a, a whole community and a whole mass amount of people came together for me to see me being successful and believe in me and it's just pretty surreal. I have no idea. I'll never understand what I've what I've done so right in this lifetime of mine to deserve any of to deserve any of it, but um, it's, pretty, it's just pretty amazing. Thank you, Jason Vancheck and your family. Thank you to all of the generous supporters and donors. You guys have done so much for the veteran community and building homes for heroes. I can't thank you enough for your contributions to my forever home.